I'll get those bikes out of the garage for Bike Friendly Kalamazoo's 12th Annual Bike Week. It runs through the 20th, and there's a lot going on, like a bike show, group rides, lessons, and more. You can find all the details on the different activities on the Kalamazoo Bike Week website. And if you're looking to test your reading ability, the Grand Rapids Public Library has a novel way to do just <laughs> that. Thank you. The library has put out the call for readers of all ages for its free summer reading challenge. You don't even need a library card to do this. The library says the challenge not only helps curb that summer literacy loss for children, it's also a great way for anyone, including adults, to discover new hobbies, interests, and skills. And if that's not enough for you, Area organizations are offering up some prizes as well. You can sign up for the Reading Challenge on GRPL's website. And Muskegon County residents invited to the Hackley Day celebration on May 20th. Enjoy free tours of the Hackley and Hume historic site from 4 to 7, along with walkthrough tours of the houses and the event. It's also going to feature live music, long names, food, and historic craft activities and games for the kiddos. For more information, just head to lakeshoremuseum.org. Well, local restaurants are ready for the summer dining season. Many have launched new menus and patios are open at Margot, J.W. Marriott's chic French bistro. You'll find dishes like Lake Superior Whitefish or the Noki Parisian. There are also some new indulgent desserts. And then at the Amway Grand Plaza, there are new menu, menu items as well as drinks. Um, the Lumber Baron Bar has introduced a new mocktail menu incorporating some of the top non-alcoholic spirits in the industry. And congratulations to three Michigan breweries. They were all awarded medals at the 2023 World Beer Cup Competition, better known as the Olympics <laughs> of Beer Competition. Now, the Mitten Brewing Company, they earned a bronze for their Imperial Peanuts and Cracker Jacks brew. Founders got silver for Dirty Bastard. And then Redwood Brewing Company in Flint took home the gold for mm. its Nectar of the Gods. Wow. This year, more than 10,000 beers were submitted by more than 2,000 breweries from 51 countries. Well, look wow. at us go. So I know. Pretty darn good here in Michigan. Nice. Well, coming nice. from Beer City. I never be. really liked beer before I moved here. <laughs> And I went the I came for my interview here, ended up at Founders, and I asked for a blue moon. Right. Yeah. Mm. Mm -mm. Mm. Wah, wah. You know, You've we, learned your lesson oh, since then. Oh, I, the Did looks I got. Oh, <laughs> I thought they were going to tell me to leave because they were like, um, we don't do that. And then they go, what do you want? I said, I don't know. What's a blue moon? Give me something similar to that. Yeah. I, was like, I had no idea. And now look at you. Yeah, now I'm like, well, do you have any IPA? Bittering <laughs> 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 units. Yeah. You know, we learn along the way. We learn <laughs> along the way. Oh. oh, man. But it's a good drink on a patio kind of vibe this week. Right. Awesome. Absolutely. Yes. Look at all the sunshine we're going to have. Sunshine today, a little bit warmer, 72 degrees, 74 tomorrow. We will be a bit breezy tomorrow. Uh, we have a different kind of cold front coming through, but then we're going to cool off just a titch on Wednesday. Still keep the sunshine, though. Sunshine all the way through Thursday. Then Friday and Saturday, we do have rain chances. We're going to fine-tune the details when we get closer later in the week. So if you do have plans for Friday or Saturday, stay with us as temperatures do also drop back in the upper 60s. When we get back to Sunday, 74 and sunshine.